do you want to just do it? Can you just film the video for me? That'd be great if you could do that. So I'm still a beginner when it comes to ethical shopping and sustainability, but I do feel like I have some tips to share. Like I'm still starting my journey. This is the first Christmas really of this journey of trying to be more sustainable and ethical. But I wanted to share some not only gift ideas, but also some tips, just general tips that you can apply while you're trying to gift people gifts this year, not just, you know, around Christmas time, but all year long too. But I wanted to give you ideas of what kinds of gifts I'm talking about. And I do think that these are the kind of gifts that everyone will love. Well, depending on the person, of course, but these aren't sustainable gifts in the sense that it's like shoving your beliefs down someone's throat because not everyone you know, wants to live the lifestyle that we're trying to achieve. Even if you're not trying to achieve full sustainability or ethical shopping or anything like that, just using a couple of these tips this year can really make a difference. And I guarantee you that your friends and family and loved ones won't even be able to tell or won't even, you know, notice that they're sustainable gifts or ethical gifts or anything like that. I'm gonna start with 10 tips that I have for giving and receiving gifts sustainably and ethically. Number one is to start making lists early. This is actually a tip that I stole from Michelle Shell B. I will link her channel, of course. She makes birthday lists throughout the year whenever someone that she wants to give a gift to on their birthday mentions something that they like, she will write it down so then when their birthday comes up, she's not stressed out as far as what to gift them. This is a general tip. Obviously, it's not really applied to, you know, being sustainable or ethical, but just in general, it's a way to not be as stressed out when it comes to giving gifts. My second tip for gift giving is to swap gift lists. I don't know if this is considered tacky or not. I do this with some of my friends. I think it's okay to tell people what you would like to receive and for them to tell you what they would like to receive. And this can help with being sustainable and ethical in the gifts in two ways. One, you're ensuring that the gifts on your list that you want are ethical and sustainable and you don't even have to tell them that that's a requirement. Just put those things that you want on your list. But also the second reason why this is helpful is because you ensure that you're getting something for them that they love and that they truly want so it doesn't just become clutter to them in their house. It's a really terrible feeling to have to get rid of a gift that you once received. No one likes doing that and that often translates into us keeping things for way too long. Another thing you can do when asking for gifts is to request something that has to be either handmade or used. That is more of an upfront, like, hey, I'm sustainable and I'm ethical, so, which how many times am I gonna say that in this video? In a way, it's kind of putting more pressure on them because they have to find something used that you're gonna like or make something for you, which is a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of time and energy sometimes. So this can be applied to people that you like know really well. Because I find when you're shopping for something used for someone, you tend to have to know that person pretty well. But it is an option with your close friends or family if you request something either secondhand or have them make you something, whether it be like jewelry, making jewelry, clothing or whatever, or making food items for you. My next general tip is to buy something that can be reused. I recommend trying to avoid the novelty like kitchen items that they're probably gonna think is really cool at first, but then it ends up in the back of a drawer somewhere or in the back of a cabinet and again becomes cluttered. So buy something that you know they're gonna use time and time again to get the most out of it. So it's worth taking up space in their home. Also, when it comes to reusing items, maybe buy something that has packaging that can be reused, like a candle that comes in a mason jar, which I will show you later on. Um, you can reuse that mason jar once they wash it out. My next tip is to avoid purchasing items with a ton of plastic. A lot of those gift baskets that you see are like gift bundles or like you know, things have so much packaging to them and it's so pointless. So try to avoid those like pre-packaged gift bundles and try making your own sustainable gift basket. That's kind of what I'm going for this year. I'm picking up small things here and there that I think my friends will really, really love. And then I'll pick up a secondhand basket at like Goodwill and put the items in there. And I'm actually wrapping everything in paper, which is another tip coming up. So it's just gonna create like my own custom gift basket. I think it's such a better option than buying those like pre-packaged ones. Next up is to buy something personal to them. Whether your friend likes baking, coffee, jewelry, tattoos, making cocktails or mixed drinks, like there is a hobby or something that each of your friends and family really love or like have interest in. So buy something that's like personal about that one thing for them that you know that they will love and that they will use. Or better yet, gift 
memories and experiences rather than material items altogether. Personally, as I get older, I value spending more time with my friends than the actual gift giving part. Like I do love giving gifts, but it's often the root cause of a lot of stress around the holidays and I think that goes for most people. But when you gift an experience like something like a massage or something that you can even do together like a concert or a show, it ensures that they will love it and you get to spend time together, which I think is the best gift. As cheesy as that sounds, you could always make something for them. If you have an artistic talent, use that to make your gifts this year. I wish I could draw or knit or cross stitch or do something, but you know, I'm not really artistic. But when in doubt, you can always make them their favorite food item, if you know what that is. Like I said before, I'm gonna be wrapping their gifts in brown paper. This is just more eco, more biodegradable than the like plasticky wrappings that you t typically get at a store. I would suggest just foregoing those all together and get like brown paper bags, like the cute kind, not like the ones from the store. You could do the ones from the store if you wanted to and like paint it, I don't know. But I just picked up a big roll of brown packing paper essentially and that's pretty much all I'm gonna need for this whole season and I think it's really cool because you can customize it you can draw on it you can paint on it if you're artistic you know put some cool like twine on there put some flowers or like rosemary or some evergreen in there like put some plants on it I don't know there's some really cute methods that you can do to wrap it with just brown paper and my last tip for gifting this season is to re-gift things I know this has like a stigma and it's kind of controversial but when it's appropriate re-gifting is really just rehoming something that you know you're not going to use or something that you don't love and gifting it to someone who you know will use it and will love it. So now we're going to get into the 10 gift ideas that I have thought of that I think are sustainable and ethical and that most people on your list will probably love them even if they're not sustainable. First thing that I recommend is pet portraits from small artists. Show me someone with a pet that isn't obsessed with their pet. You guys know I have portraits done by a girl named Sydney who I really love. I will link all the artists that I talk about in this and all the gift things I'll link all down below so you can reach out to them or like purchase the gifts that I'm talking about. I think this is a great gift for those people who you don't know what to get like maybe an extended person that you're not really that close with but you know has a pet. This is a great gift because everyone I guarantee who has a pet will love to receive artwork of their pet. There are so many talented like amazingly talented and affordable pet portrait artists online that I will link down below. Recently, there was someone else who reached out to me wanting to do a portrait of my pets and oh my God, she's just so talented. I have them right here, look at them. Of course, I'll have her Instagram link down below so you can check out more of her work, but look at that. I mean, my kids have never looked better, right? No offense, guys. Over there. Can you see them? <laughs> anyway, there's someone else on Twitter that does pet portraits on a piece of wood and turns them into ornaments that are so, so cute. So I will have all three artists that I mentioned linked down below. The next gift idea is soy candles. Now this can be a little bit tricky because you really have to know the person and what kind of scents they like. It helps if you've been to their house before so you can like know what their scents are. That sounds really creepy. My favorite place to get soy candles is on Etsy. I discovered this shop a while back and I actually was able to smell it in person person because they were sold at my local freestyle because this shop is actually local to me. I know you can't really smell the candles before you purchase them on Etsy, but you are supporting a small shop and usually they have really unique scents that I promise you, at least this shop I can definitely vouch for smell amazing. This is from the company, none of this is sponsored by the way, if I'm mentioning products and companies and things like that, nothing in this video is sponsored, okay. So. My favorite shop on Etsy is Love Your Body Essentials and my favorite scent is the White Tea Ginger. I don't know if they have the candles restocked because they were out last time I checked, but this scent, guys, I can't explain it. It just smells so delicious. So they have candles, they have these uh, fragrance sprays which you can use on your hair, on your couch, on your bed, on your pillow. It's water-based, so it's basically just water and essential oils, so it just smells so amazing. Also, the packaging that it comes in is not plastic so you can reuse these. Like you could empty out this glass jar and reuse it for another spray. You can DIY your own spray. And like I said before, this comes in a mason jar so you can take out the wax and use it as whatever. So try to look for those kind of little shops on Etsy that sell soy candles or, you know, products that are vegan and cruelty free that have reusable packaging. If you know of any yourself, if you want to leave it down in the comments for everyone else,
everyone else, that would be great. So the next gift might be a little bit random, but I think it is the perfect sustainable gift to give in like a white elephant situation. If you do that at your work or with your friends or family, I think this one would be perfect. Stainless steel straws. They're becoming much more trendy nowadays and you can get some really cute ones like these ones I'm about to show you. You don't just have to get them in like the silver kind. They actually have like rainbow kinds. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I just think these are fun and like they are a little bit more trendy now and now that in, at least in California plastic straws are banned so you can carry these around. I'll try to link this exact set that I have here from Amazon down below. But I think this is a really fun gift to give. I feel like it's something that people will actually use in their house because once they run out of plastic straws in their house are they gonna rebuy it? Maybe but at least you can give them the option not to. The next gift idea is food. I don't know who doesn't love free food, but I know millennials especially love free food. So you can either host them at your house, cook them a dinner, or take them out to dinner. I think everyone overlooks gifting food and like making people dinner as a gift because it's not as exciting. It's not like a material item, but I feel like we value material things so much more than hospitality or like generosity of like gifting food because everyone eats, everyone loves food. Funky. And everyone's gotta eat. And I love to get my food paid for, so. Also putting this in the food category, but wine. I think wine is a great gift to give someone of age, obviously, or if you're going to a family event, bringing wine with you. And if you're looking for an ethical, sustainable wine, you should check out the brand Fetzer. Fetzer Winery is actually the first zero waste winery and uses all renewable agriculture. It is completely sustainable. They're also the first winery to be certified by carbon neutral because of their reduction of their carbon footprint. So if you're gonna gift wine or bring wine to a family event, I highly recommend Fetzer. Really affordable, it's like 10 to $20 per bottle. Like I said, the next thing is experiences. Again, moving away from the material item kind of gifts and focusing more on something that you know that they'll get use out of, such as massages, nail salon, concerts, a show, comedy club with drinks, even a car detailing place. I don't think anyone really thinks about that, but who doesn't love to have their car professionally cleaned every once in a while? So I think gifting a specific kind of experience for that person depending on what their interests are, what they like to do, or what they need, I think they are really going to love getting an experience as a gift. Because sometimes you just don't want to pay for those things yourself, so maybe you avoid doing those things altogether. But if you had something already paid for, you're more likely to take advantage. Now next thing is a little bit more tricky. I recommend really knowing the person and only doing this for people that you're really close with or if you see something and you know it's just for that person then you know go ahead and do that but gifting secondhand items going on the hunt at thrift stores antique stores especially because you can find some really unique things there whether it be clothing jewelry housewares just unique objects like decor things like that i think it's really fun to hunt for people like that hunt for people that's not no hunt for items for people but like i said this is something where you really have to know the person not everyone's going to really appreciate getting a secondhand gift um, especially if they know that it's secondhand or an antique or something not everyone really into that but if you have a friend or a family member that you know would really appreciate that then this is a great option okay so the next one is gonna be really weird and probably not on anyone else's gift guides I can guarantee you and that is home items that help the wildlife let me explain I think that these types of gifts are awesome and I personally would love to receive something like this even though I just live in an apartment I would still put it up and use it so for this year I hope my mom doesn't watch my videos but um, I'm getting my mom these beautiful glass hummingbird feeders for outside their bedroom window because they love watching the hummingbirds outside their window but they only have the cheap plasticky red ones the typical ones there are also bird feeders you can get that are really elaborate um, bird houses that you can get there's even bat houses like little bat caves that you can get for people where bats can find refuge and be safe and keep warm in the winter in these little bat houses that you can put on your property I think it's a cool idea obviously if you know the person you have to like know if this is gonna be good for them it's kind of a very unique specific kind of gift but I know I personally would love it because I love animals so if you have an animal lover I think this is a cool gift idea that I don't think most people think of next up is something like planners mindfulness notebooks blank notebooks things like that I think a lot of people want to get into writing in a journal or doing a bullet journal or even just writing down to-do lists or gratitude journals things like that there's like endless op options for as far as filling in a blank journal or a blank bullet journal or something like that or you can get them something a little bit more specific like on my list this year is the three minute morning journal it's where you take three minutes every morning to write down what you're grateful for and how you're going to work to 
achieve your goals that day. Wow, can I talk today? No. There's also the five minute journal that's really popular. So there's just a b endless amounts of options on Amazon right now as far as like gratitude journals and things like that. So I think it's a great option for most people. I think everyone should be practicing gratitude every day and I think more people are more likely to do it if it's already laid out for them how to do that in like a three minute journal or a five minute journal. One of those kinds of books where it's literally laid out for you on what to do every day. Next up is custom jewelry. Now this is, you know, for those people who do wear jewelry. So whoever is in your life that actually wears jewelry. I recently just got this necklace right here. You can't really see it, but I will insert a clip up close of what it is. I'm obsessed with it. It's from the company Golden. It's spelled G-L-D-N and their packaging is just so cute. First of all, I found this company on Instagram. Again, nothing sponsored in this video. I paid for this my own with my own money. I got it in the I love you hand sign language because that's something my mom and I do every time we say goodbye is we do this to each other. And ever since I was like born, we've done that. So I that's why I got that little hand, but they have tons of hand gestures. They have you know, necklaces with, that you can customize with initials if they have children. Sometimes that's a really cute way to gift them something that's super personal. And I think the company is pretty affordable for what you can get. You can pick the kind of base metal that you get. It can be sterling, it could be just silver plate like this one, it could be gold, it could be 24 karat gold. It might be too late to order like custom jewelry for them because it is handmade, at least on this website. So it's going to take some time to produce and ship out. So I don't know if it'll come in time, but this one shipped within like two days. So I'm sure they have some back stock of things that are already pre-made. They wear jewelry, just stick to minimal jewelry to ensure that they're really going to like it because you get them like more costume jewelry or something that's a little bit more bold. They're probably, they're probably not gonna wear it as often. Sorry, my cat is trying to get back in after I just let him out. So, excuse me. That's not your spot, that's my spot. Can I sit on the chair too? Can I just finish the video like this? <laughs> this is his chair technically, so I steal it whenever I need to film a video but this is a sleeping spot. So the 10th gift item that I'm going to suggest is plants. I think plants are, I mean, obviously if they're into plants, like these gifts kind of go without saying they have to be interested in these things, but I think most people would appreciate getting a plant of some kind, whether it be a succulent. I really recommend like a food plant, a you know, plant that they can use in the kitchen, whether it be basil, parsley, cilantro, whatever they're into. But I think getting them herbs or even herb kits, they sell those in like the dollar section at Target. Um, they have like Christmas trees right now and like some flowers and things like that that you can grow yourself. I think that's a really cool idea because even if they kill the plant, they get a pot with it so they can reuse the pot for a future plant that they might kill as well. I think this is again is something that's like a little bit smaller that you can give someone who you don't know necessarily that well or for like a white elephant gift, things like that. Most people are going to appreciate a plant, you know, who doesn't like having some fresh greenery in their house, even, you know, the greenery, the kind that you can eat. You're too fat to be on the back of this chair, monkey. Are you good? Anyway, that's my gift guide. That is my top 10 tips as far as giving and receiving gifts ethically and sustainably, and also just 10 gift ideas in case you're looking for something that is eco and like, you know, conscious, eco-conscious eco is what I'm looking for. And I do think that the, most things on this list, most people would appreciate getting, and I think they're pretty safe bets for the most part. Obviously some of them had some disclaimers, but for the most part, I think most people would really like these gifts. I know I would, and I know the people in my life would, so that's all I really have to go on. But I would love to keep this conversation going in the comments and you writing down your ideas in the comments as far as how, like tips on how to gift and receive sustainably and also how to, like what gift ideas you can come up with that are also ethical and sustainable. I'm done saying those words, okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon, bye. Oh my God, you're so cute. I have to show you her, hold on. I just wanna be as comfortable as her.